listen, we've been comparing headphones and speakers all day because Sony has dropped a whole bunch of heat for the spring and summer 2024. We've got the Alt Tower 10. We've got the, the Field 7. We've got the Field 1. And we were talking about the Alt Wear, which is these base thumpers right here, man. These things are like crazy bass heavy. We got two levels of bass. So in the last video, I, re I um, compared them to the stylings of the Sony XM5 and the Sony XM4. They kind of just had a baby here and merged into this, but I also kind of compared them sound wise to an XM5, which is, is really just two different headphones, right? But sometimes I have said that, uh, imagine the XM5s with ultra bass, and that's what you get with this. Uh, you get the same level of A and C, you get the same level, or actually I think the ambient sound is a little bit better, but the XM5 is gonna be better in comfort and yada, yada, yada. But this ain't about that. You can't even talk about the Skull Candy Crushers, okay? Now we talking. This is like, hmm, this is the competition right here. It's not Sony against Sony. It is Sony against the, the Skull Candy Noggin Thumpers. That's what I have actually nicknamed these. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> All right, Wilson. Me and Wilson did some A-B testing back and forth with the Skull Candy Noggin Thumpers Crushers. This is the Crusher A and C2, by the way, <laughs> but I call them noggin thumpers. And then the new Sony Altwear. Now, full disclosure, Sony does not use tricks, okay, in order to enhance the bass. And that's not a, a jab or a, a shot at Skull Candy, but with the Skull Candy A and C or Skull Candy Crushers, what you get is haptic feedback on your bass. So as the bass drops certain notes, they cover pretty much all the notes, I think, and sometimes too many with the bass, uh, you actually get some haptic vibration in there. So it makes it feel like it's a lot more than it actually is. So, you know what? I'm always talking to you guys, man. You always get to hear me just blabbering my mouth. Wilson, what, what'd you think when we did the A-B test? So when it came to the, we'll say the Sony first. Okay. So the Sony has really good bass on the Ult 2. It's a little too much in my opinion. Even Ult 1 is kind of a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, it's real bass. It actually feels like real bass when you're playing it. But when it came to the Crushers, Man, these things, they're just, I like to call them artificial bass, you would say. And when I was listening to a song and a guy hit a low note when singing, it kind of activated the bass and it just kind of kind of ruined it a little bit, I will say. But Wait, Go back and say that again? Uh, whenever the, the guy sang a low note, it activated the, the vibration motor in it and it kind of ruined the song for me a little bit. So his voice was vibrating your ears. It, it hit a note <laughs> and it, it just vibrated for a second when it hit a note. Gotcha, okay, yeah. that's crazy. I hadn't heard that yet. Okay. So is this, is you saying this is too much or? Uh, it's too much and it's not, it doesn't feel like real bass. The vibration is nice, but like I said, it's just, it's artificial. That's your thing. Just artificial Even bass. you turn it down? Yeah, I mean, I tried, yeah, but you know, it's it's more of a trigger point. On. Hold on, let me yeah. turn it off. Okay, so even when you turn it down, like yeah. you turn it down midway or off or what? I tried turning them down a little bit, but I, I just, you know, if you're looking for real bass, I think the Sony is the way to go, really. All right. Well, you know what? It's not often me and Wilson agree on stuff, but today, I, maybe Wilson wants a raise. <laughs> maybe that's why he's been agreeing with me all this time. <laughs> but that's my sentiments too, man. I really have enjoyed listening to the Skull Candy Crushers over the years. I really enjoy the novelty of the, of the vibrations because it just adds a, like a third dimension to your music, right? So it's been fun to listen to. These are very fun headphones. But for people who actually appreciate like in-depth sound quality, that's where you would start going here because you're you're getting just music, right? And he is right. The Alt 2, like there's Alt 1, there's Off, right? And then you got Alt 1 and then you got Alt 2. Alt 2 is a bit much. I never camp out there. I usually hang out at either Off or, or Alt 1. And that's plenty of bass for me. But like he said, that is real bass and it's solid music, it's music quality. Now you're not getting the same like top tier music quality as you would with the Sony XM5s. It's not that good as far as all around music quality. These are for bass heads, remember that. You can't have it all in one headphone. And that's why we got three sitting here. But yeah, better music quality and better bass control because you will not hear your eardrums rattling when someone sings a low note with a Sony Altwear because they're doing it properly. But once again, it's not a shot at the Skull Candy Noggin Thumper uh, headphones. It's because, you know, I love these. I love the novelty of it. I love the way they sound, but you would only listen to these for certain types of music and certain case scenarios. And even though they do have active noise cancellation, 
Wilson actually told me that. <laughs> you you tell him, man. You tell him. The ANC is better on the Sony's by a large margin. Sony it's, knows ANC. It is what it is, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here, man, because they don't be believing me, man. They be thinking I'll be hyping stuff up. <laughs> oh, definitely. Sony's <laughs> definitely better. <laughs> so now when you get mad because you're like a Sony hater or you just don't like me, now you've got Wilson to be mad at because, you know, he's here now. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is now you got Wilson to be mad at and now I can get me some rest because all you haters, y'all be getting on my nerves. See you when I see you. <laughs>